Hey everyone, so today we are going to do a real quick tutorial on the wooden farmhouse bead garland. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, I just haven't got around to it. Um, so we're going to do that. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, um, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. I will also do a blog post on a DIY as well on how to do this. Um, I'll leave that in the description box below along with all these supplies that I used. So if you have any questions, let me know and let's get started. Okay, so first you are going to need some wooden beads. Um, I got these off of Amazon. They're, these are the 16 millimeter. Um, I think I got a hundred of them for, I believe, $7.99. I will leave them in the link uh, I will leave the link to them in the description below. Next, um, this is optional. I got some white paint to paint them really quick. Um, you can leave them this natural color if you want. I'm going to go ahead and just paint mine white. Next, you're going to need some scissors, a paintbrush if you're painting them, and then this natural jute twine um i got the 243 foot the three ply um i got this at hobby lobby for 2.99 and i used my 40 percent off coupon so now we're gonna start by painting them really quick um i'm not going to do this perfectly just because i want them a little bit um, imperfect just to give it that farmhouse look but I want them the white color so we're gonna go ahead and do that now in this paint I got at Walmart I don't remember how much it was but it wasn't very expensive um, I just got the matte color the matte white I am going to put a piece of masking tape at the end of my twine so it doesn't fray while I'm putting it on these beads. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to start threading these beads through. Made that tape a little too thick. So you're going to want to just string these beads to your desired length. Um, and then you're going to leave about four inches on um, each side of the twine that you're wanting tassels on. So if you just want it on one side, tassels on one side, you're just going to leave four inches on one side. Um, I am going to do one tassel on each side. So I'm going to lay four inches on each side. Also, um, I painted uh, 50 of these wooden beads uh, for my garland. Um, I used half a pack of the beads that I had ordered. Um, they came in a pack of 100, so I just used half of those. That way I can make another garland using the other half.
So now that we have all the beads strung, we're gonna go ahead and do four feet from, or not four feet, four inches from each side. And that way we can make our tassels and they will be even. So we'll do that now, cut off the extra. I'm gonna cut off this taped end really quick. Have our beads. So I'm just doing this approximately four inches. I'm not gonna go get too technical about it. Um, but I have four inches on one side, so I'm gonna go ahead and move these beads down. And then we will cut on this other side. Okay, so we have it measured out. And we have our two ends. Now we will start making our tassels for each end. Okay, so I went ahead and did one of the tassels. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Um, so you just take an end of the twine and you're going to go ahead and just wrap it around your palm about 20 times. Um, just like this. And you just keep wrapping. So that's four, five, Okay, so you uh, you want to end at the end where this other end is. So I'll go ahead and cut that real quick. Um, you can pull it off of your hand. So you just want to match that up about the same. It doesn't have to be too accurate. And then while you have that, you're going to go ahead and just pinch it and then get another piece about it doesn't have to be too accurate. I just kind of eye it. And then you're going to pinch it in half and do about one inch from the top of it. And then you're going to just wrap this around about four or five times. And you want to do it pretty tight. And then you're going to just knot this. Ew. Should have made it just a tad bit longer. <laughs> apart on me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, and then you're just going to tie that tight. As tight as you can, and then you'll just cut these, the extra off of that knot. I don't do it right up against the knot just in case it does come untied. It has a little bit extra. And then 
now that you have that done, you're going to get this other side, the opposite side, and you're gonna split that in half, and then you're going to just cut these. I need some fabric scissors or something, because these scissors are, do not work. to do with this is you're gonna get the end of your garland and you're going to feed it through this little loop up at the top it is a little bit challenging because it's very tight up there but If you can get your fingers through there and then you can just feed it through. Okay, come on. it up to the top and then you're going to just knot it at the end of your garland you'll just tie a knot try and get it as even as possible and then just tie a knot And once you have that knot, you'll just trim off this excess twine. And there you have it. There is your garland. Thank you for watching. If you like this DIY, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Like I said, I'll link uh, my blog post of the DIY written out in the description box. So be sure and go check that out. Um, I will see y'all next time. Bye.